Hey everyone, I've just been sent the latest Cardo product, the Pack Talk Edge. Um, today I'm going to do a really quick and easy uh, installation video for you guys. I did have the previous model, the Pack Talk Bold, um, but I know this new unit has a bunch of new features and updates, so I'm really excited to go out for a ride later and actually try it out. Um, but first, I'm going to just quickly run you through the new um, features and then we'll get installing. Okay, so to talk through some of the new features, um, they're pretty endless actually to be honest with you so I'm going to try and just tell you all the best bits um, so new improvements the new design very sleek very cool looking it's also air mounted um, so it's essentially a really really strong magnet um, so very very safe and secure um, it's got new high definition speakers by JBL it is also now 100% waterproof can handle any weather conditions which is a major selling point for me um, I hate having to switch out tech um, suddenly if it starts to rain, which in Britain obviously it does all the time. Um, it can also be operated by natural voice, so essentially by just saying, hey Cardo, you can make calls or control the GPS or your music, um, things like that. You can, like I just said, play music. Um, it also offers you FM radio. Um, it does fast charging, so I think it does two hours in just 20 minutes and 13 hours uh, in two hours, which is pretty impressive. Um, it does easy pairing and over the air uh, software updates, which is really cool, because if you're like me and you're just rubbish at updating things like that, um, the easier the better. Um, the intercom, it uses a new DMC Gen 2 system, um, so it can handle up to 15 riders within a one mile range. Um, it can be universally paired, so it doesn't necessarily have to go with other Cardo units. Um, if someone in your group um, maybe has a different intercom system, it will be able to work with that as well. Um, and one of the best features that I think it's got new is the auto healing feature. So I'm excited to try that out. What it essentially means is if you're riding in a big group and the group gets split up, you'll stay within your little groups all connected. And then when the group all comes back together again, it will automatically just link you all back up. So really, really, really useful if you're going to be doing um, long journeys and things like that. And I forgot to mention, uh, it has an automatic volume control. So what that will essentially mean is that it will adapt to your surroundings. So if you go from being in the quiet countryside to suddenly being in a really busy town centre, the volume is automatically um, going to get louder which is awesome because I think what I found particularly with the last unit, having a really loud bike in the first place, when I would then find myself in a really busy town, I was then fiddling around one hand off um, the handlebars, trying to um, turn my unit up. Um, so that was a really major um, selling point for me. So installation, um, what's in the box is, trying to drop that on the floor. Uh, what's in the box, you've got the cradle, you've got the unit itself, um, got alcohol wipes to clean the um, where you put the sticky pads, which are somewhere in here. You've got the headphones, and then you've got two microphones. You've got uh, a little mini one like this, and then you've got a boom mic as well. Um, and then you also have these spacers. So if you've got a small head, um, you can whack the spacers in, and that'll bring the headphones closer to your ears. So. I have blue peated this a little bit. If you don't know what that means, then you're not from Britain and you're maybe from the US. That essentially means that I've got one that I did earlier and then I'm also gonna do, so I've got the second helmet kit as well, so I'm gonna do both of my helmets. So the second helmet kit has double of everything that I just listed. So then you're just essentially moving the unit over easily onto each of your helmets. Step one, you wanna put the headphones in. Um, so, where you want to do that is obviously some helmets will actually have a recess so they can just um, go within the recess. Other helmets, uh, like mine, are a little bit trickier and you just kind of got to feel out where your ears would naturally be um, and then use the sticky pads to place them inside. Um, the wire, it has a long wire and then a short wire. Obviously you're going to want it to have the short wire on your left hand side of your helmet because um, that's where you want the unit to sit. Um, obviously you don't want to be using your throttle hand to use the controls so you're going to have it on your left. And then the longer wire is going to feed around the back of the helmet to the other side. So basically it looks like this. Short wire on the left and then you might have to remove some of your padding just to feed the wire around to the other side so that you can put in the headphone on the other side. 
Once you've done that and you've put your headphones in, then what you want to do next is put in your microphone. Um, I've gone with using the boom mic um, in both of mine, just prefer it. Um, but do what suits you, do what fits your lid better as well, because you'll find that some helmets may not quite have room for the boom mic, so you might want to use the slightly smaller mic um, instead. Um, so use the alcoholic pads, give it all a wipe down, and then use the sticky mounts that are provided to whack this in the front. And then obviously you want to have the microphone so that it's somewhere close to your mouth, and you want the little yellow arrow uh, pointing up towards you. Okay, so then you have two options for the cradle itself. You can either use sticky pads and pop that on the side, which I've done with this helmet. And then what I'm gonna do with my other one is actually use the clip. So you can use the clip to slot it up that way. Benefits of using the clip, I suppose, is that you can take it on and off um, various helmets really easily and uninstall the whole thing. Um, and it just depends on what you feel is more secure and what fits better on your helmet. So. I'll let you decide on that one. Um, I'm gonna go with one of each for mine. Um, and then once that's on, it should look, like I said, I did the blue piece of this earlier. So it should look something like that. And then essentially all you need to then do is then hook the wires up and then get the unit itself and pop that on. Cool, so then you can just use the, oh, the air mount, if you do it the right way. Um, and there you have it ready to rock and roll. Um, so it will also come with a pocket guide which will tell you really, really quickly and easily how to get it all up and running. Um, mine already came with a bunch of charge so I'm actually gonna go out straight this afternoon and give this a go. Thank you so much for watching. I am hoping to do a lot more YouTubes in the future. So if you enjoyed the video, please do like and hit subscribe. Um, hope you'll be getting some more videos coming your way. I've got lots of events uh, and big group ride outs coming up this summer. Uh, so I'm hopefully gonna be using the Practic Edge um, and we'll give you a more detailed review uh, later on as well. And yeah, thank you to Cardo as well for sending me the unit. I'm really excited to go and put it for its paces.